Welcome, travelers. Thank you for joining me again. I trust the villagers have been kind to you and opened your homes and hearts to you while you've been with us these this past week or so. I see my adopted son, Ben Hill, has guided you safely here. Thank you, Ben Hill. You're doing a good job. He, he likewise has started a campfire for us to keep us warm on this cool autumn night up on top of this mountain. What's this, you ask? What? What's this outfit I'm wearing? This, this, this cloak? This, this blanket? Uh, such as it looks like to you? Ah, that is a tale I'd be glad to share with you, my honored guest tonight. I've had this malady for quite some time, and, and even my beloved Bernadette, she couldn't find an answer to it uh, as to how to make me better. And she's the only healer we have in this area, and does a fine job. I, I'm very proud of her. I'm most thankful that she is my wife, of all things. Healer, secondly, she does a good job. But this time, no, no, just, just couldn't quite get it right. So, as was the custom of, of uh, our, our beloved brother Paul from from long ago, he went to the Lord, um, and on many occasions, three times he tells us, in, in, his, in his letters to the Corinthian church, I went before the Lord asking that this burden, this, this thorn in the flesh, thorn in my side, he called it, on more than one occasion, would be taken away. And like him, now the Lord did not take it away from him, lest he get too big for his britches because of things that he had seen and experienced as a disciple of, of the Lord uh, Yeshua. So, if it's good enough for Paul, let me try it. So I did, and, and have been for on many occasions, covered up in my prayer blanket, a special one that uh, one of the, the younger ones made for me right after we got uh, here from uh, Judea, as, as a thank you gift. She made me this this fine blanket that you see of of scarlet, representing Yeshua's shed blood, and and a white, beautiful white uh, yarn that represents uh, our new clothes when we arrive in heaven or when our bodies are translated that that color of purity uh, she made for me this melody say is affecting me I heard all the time but the good news is that there is coming a day and this is what I want to leave with you visitor I'm not yes I'm lamenting my illness I don't feel good I get cranky Bernadette will tell you all the times I've fussed at her snapped at her the children they know when dad's not feeling good you stay away from the old grumpy bear. Don't let the whiskers on his chin tell you otherwise. That he's friendly bear. He's not a friendly bear when he's in pain. But what keeps my heart going, and I want to leave this with you, and you take it to heart if you like. If not, well, consider it's the remedies of an old man. Old man in pain. That there is coming a time, according to our brother Paul, when... Yahweh, when, when Elohim will open up the clouds and his trumpet will blow and the voice of the archangel will announce the arrival of Yeshua to take us away from this cursed earth. On that day, those that have died, those that you see in the cemetery, those that you have in your own cemeteries, in your home cities, those will open up and those who are the redeemed of Yeshua will have new bodies incorruptible like unto our Lord's. And those of us that are alive will have glorious bodies. No pain, no maladies, no sickness of any sorts. Of that is the surety that keeps many of us going, keeps all of us going uh, on, on more than one occasion. And, and this is a re reminder just to jog your, your mind in this world that was cursed by the sin of our grandparents, grandfather Adam, grandmother Eve, because of their disobedience to Elohim in, in the Garden of Eden so long ago, this curse has been passed down to us. So look up. When you ache, keep, in, keep that little flicker of hope. There's coming a day, not long from now. The apostles tell us, be ready, be ready, be ready. Make sure you are his child. Make sure you've repented of your sins. Ask him into your heart. So in the day of redemption, so on the day that our bodies are healed finally, once and for all, and this pain and sickness is removed from us, 
you will be translated glorious, victorious over the grave and over death and over sickness and disease. And we'll have bodies like unto our Lord's, made of flesh and bone. That is the glorious hope that keeps us alive, keeps us watching, keeps me watching the eastern sky. Just kind of keep my ear just tuned a little bit more to to my surroundings. Lord, are you coming back today? Is it? Is it? Is it the next sunrise? Is it the next sunset? How long ago has it been since we heard these words? We're listening. We're watching. Your bride is waiting for you, Lord Jesus, Lord Yeshua. Please come get us. We're tired. We want to see your face because many of us alive here. In Zebulon and Naphtali have never seen his face we've never heard his voice but even then when he was with us he called us blessed because we have faith in him who we have in whom we have not seen so beloved thank you for joining me tonight I see Bernadette has brought you refreshments please sit by the fire with us tonight just let us talk as, as friends let's talk as family let's talk as kinsmen in, in Yeshua because one day We'll see him, and we'll have forever to spend together. As long as Ben Hale keeps the fire going, please, let us set together. Let us commune. Let us open our hearts. Let us inter intermingle our troubles and our, our joys. Together, they will be shared. Thank you for sharing this campfire with me tonight. Your presence is most honored. Thank you.